In this video, we're going to look at Star Wars The Mandalorian Black Series G90. It's a pretty cool figure, this. Picked up at Star Action Figures. It was on sale for about a tenner. So it's one I've been looking at before. So let's go look at the box art. G90. Assuming The Mandalorian. So it looks like a cross between, say, Forlom and the Death Star droid. It's got the buggy eyes. Gun that's very much like Boba Fett's. Very cool looking droid. So let's have a look at him. Does look pretty decent, this one. So it looks like around Christmas time, both in demand and um, starction figures tend to drop the prices or just after Christmas. So yeah, this figure looks pretty cool. Get the same leaflet as you get with all of them. That's not bad. There's the gun. Sure, it's very similar to Boba Fett's, if not the same. Maybe a little bit more squat. A bit of brown on the handle. Metallic finish to the... Pretty dark though, might be more the light reflecting. And then the figure itself. He looks amazing. <laughs> it's a bit like uh, from the black hole, the sentry droids as well. Yeah, this is a great figure. <sighs> yeah, nice. Yeah, it does have that sort of black hole vibe in a way. A bit like Star. But yeah, it's a cool droid. Got some paint wear, scuffing on the body. That's good. Yeah, total little droid. Looks really cool this one. See how well he stands while I adjust the camera. That's a cool figure. Finally glad pulled the trigger on this one. It's one I've always wanted. Look at that head movement. Brilliant. Malfunction. That's a pretty cool head sculpt. I mean, they really need to do a Death Star droid in the Black Series. So it's got mid torso crunch. Head's great, moves back and forth. It's a double ball basin at the neck at the head and get quite good articulation all around has an antenna in the back of his head crunches at the up just beneath this bit here the circular bit you can see it so it goes far quite back, that far forward. Arms go up to about there. Be careful with the elbows because they've got wires. So let's see how these move.
looking at the body. Surely they must move, it's so stiff the elbows. Yeah. Gets way less than 90. That's not good. So you've got a butterfly. That's quite detached there. Yeah, definitely you can see a butterfly there. Yeah, you can feel the butterfly. That's better on this elbow. That you can definitely get beyond 90. Let's see if we can do a bit, a bit better with this one. Yep. They're just really stiff. Just watch the wires. You don't want them twisting off. Ab crunch. It's got the wrists. Stiff, but in and out. There's the thing. Just got to work the joints. I mean, the brand new figure, so it's going to be really stiff, isn't it? Nice ab crunch, twist at the waist as well. Legs go pretty far out. That far back, let's see how far forward that far forward. Knees to 90, rocket ankles. So they're a bit like, um, what's his name's? That tall robot from uh, Rogue One, what was his name? It does look quite cool. This is zero. And let's see how well he holds the blaster rifle. Quite stiff. Gosh, it is really stiff. Let's see how. I meant to go fix my bike tire after this. I don't know if I'm gonna feel like I'm gonna, cause it's gonna be so, that's gonna be incredibly, doesn't wanna hold it at all. Let's try again. It's the three fingers beneath the trigger finger. They're really, don't want to move for this figure. Let's try. There's the trigger. Get it in, but then the thumb's behind the I don't want to damage anything. Yeah. That's about the best I can do. 
That was for Nicotee. But he is holding it now. You feel like the plastic on the butt stock's gonna bend because of the way he's holding it as well. But I guess everyone wants to get him in a two-handed pose. These figures are fingers are really rigid, plastic. Just about do it. What a kerfuffle. Those hands should be a bit softer, more pliable. But you can get them into two handed pose. My biggest concern is the rifle stop. Does it bend? Because of the way. I guess you can just you sort of move the thing so there's no pressure on the rifle stock. You can get them into two handed pose, which looks really good. This figure overall is a nice figure, very nice. Pretty good. Maybe it could have done with a bit more weathering on top on the face. I mean, you've got the eyes. But I've just put some on the torso, really. It does look quite good. I've got the original forlorn figure to compare them with. They look great together. Two killer droids. Yeah, yeah. I didn't think he'd be taller than Forlorn, but he is. So yeah, this is a good figure. Hopefully you can pick him up at a reduced price. There's nice paint apps on the body. You can get him into a two-handed pose. He's got some nice ribbing. Some nice detailing on the back. Done with some paint wash in the midsection that they got it on the front. And they've just got some bronze around the torso. He does look cool though. So that's Zero. He's from The Mandalorian. A bug eyed protocol droid with modified programming. Zero Hunter. <laughs> cool figure. So if you can find this one at a reduced price, definitely pick him up. He looks quite cool. Has a black hole vibe as well as a Death Star droid vibe crossed with this character. Anyway, time to stop waffling. Great figure. Good articulation. I mean, he's got good knees, ankles, you know, typical black series. Upper thigh cut. Let me see if that twist. No, it's not an upper thigh cut. But you can just move it slightly at, at the top. So just be careful there. But yeah, good figure. Anyway, time to stop waffling. This has gone on for way, way too long. Good figure though. Alright, cheers, goodbye, bye.